welcome back guys uh, and uh, once again <clears throat> thank you for like my video and uh, uh, appreciate your res uh, response about my earlier video um and now i'm going to show you another tip uh, as you know the mats are really um, expensive for us and we're not going to spend a lot of money on mats although this machine is really good so what i done actually i had this uh, uh, roll of uh, uh, transfer tape from cricket like maybe it's been three years so this is really good roll actually it sold very well and um, and the brother sheets are also expensive and we used if we if, if we cut a lot of fabric so thread can be messy on the mats and it's hard to clean and and the life uh, life of the mats uh, can be reduced by these threads as you can see these are all threads so what i did i just cut the sheet because um, brother sheets are also uh, good but if you run out of the sheets you can use the transfer tape um, and this is like clear transfer tape i can show you just a minute okay this is a, a clear transfer tape and with gridded so if you uh, you can use any kind of transfer tape but it must be clear so um actually i cut these um fabric it's a broadcloth i cut with this mat on i'm gonna cut it again in front of you guys so this is very really clean cut and uh, i just saved my mat actually from the fabric threads so let's uh, uh, do it again so you guys can see it so I'm gonna, there is no backing, no heat and bond, and it's a broad cloth, and I'm gonna just stick it. So, gently, I, I don't want any wrinkle. So let's smooth it. I use briar, you can use also your briar. So, okay, so I just smooth it. And make sure when you apply the tape, I just mess up with the tape, but if you apply the tape, make sure there is no bubbles on the uh, sheet as you apply the brother contact sheet for the fabric cutting. So now this uh, mat is ready for cutting. I'm gonna uh, rotate the camera view. Okay, there you go. And now I'm gonna load the mat. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to scan it again. So you guys can see it properly what I cut it. So, okay, cut. Let's scan it first. Okay, start. okay it's been scanned okay now so i there is much light so i just uh, um align the uh, uh designs on it no uh, manual pressure the fabric blade is inside on auto and now i'm going to cut it just cut it just like paper start okay maybe fabric blade can be dull uh, like we uh, like our rotary cutters um dull uh, when we cut the fabric but it's okay the fabric uh, blade can be bought we can buy as many as we want because fabric uh, the blade itself is not so expensive but the holder and fabric uh, all together 
uh, can be expensive. So the what's been cut, you can see there is no snagging at all. And I think the mag works really nice. I'm going to unload. And now I'm going to switch it again, my camera view. So there you go. A little bit like, okay. So there you go. Sorry for the bad view because I'm just playing on my bad. So let's see where is the, okay, there you go. So I'm going to lift it. I think the camera has some shadows. Okay, now I think this is clear. Yeah. So where we're going to start. Okay, start from bottom. So there you go. Guys, this is fabric. This is not um paper. So you guys can see the mat is also good. The contact sheet is good. Everything is looks good. And there is no catching threads. There you go. So now I'm going to lift gently because the fabric can be fry. Okay, one heart. Sorry, it's a leaf. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And the second. And the fun part is here. So the fabric, this fabric can be free. So gently lift it. And there is some hole in the log. And so this is the okay let me just align it oops it's, it's bigger than the hand okay I believe it's uh, it's very nice actually yeah, let's okay You see, this is broad, broad cloth. And now I'm going to planning. Um, actually, I'm using my, uh, this fabric uh, to cut some dots. I want dots uh, for my shirts. It's a silk fabric again, and uh, the same which I cut earlier. And, uh, okay. So now I'm going to place it. So I, need, uh, I will scan it and where I want the dots, I will cut it. I'm going to do it in front of you guys. So this is with the, uh, I believe I have to do upside down because this is, uh, the backing is really tricky. Okay. So next time I will not remove uh, the backing paper so it's more uh, stable and can be moved easily so let's see how it can cut mm, this is my first try on this mat in front of you guys okay i need some spots to be cut Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> okay. The scan and cut is good. Actually, I'm using a Cricut Maker also for the uh, snap mat, and I cut easily every object where I wanted to the cut. So scanner is a lot easier. Actually, we scan it right in your machine. So let's see how it's cut it. 
So, actually the purpose because the, this, uh, this mat is uh, sticky uh, for the um, heat and bond. So that's why I just click the uh, fabric. So let's see, scan it. I want some dots. Let's cut it. Okay, now I'm gonna switch again the I will set up some uh oh I when you um the arrow is uh wrong side it can it in the mat cannot be recognized. So let's try it again. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to select some dots because I need some dots on my shirt. So circle, circle, circle. There you go. And it should be like um, one by one. Okay. Okay, it's one inch and I need one, two, three, four, five, maybe five. Okay, now I'm gonna scan it. Oh, already scan it. No, I didn't scan it yet. Okay, let's scan it. Some people have a problem with the loading the mat. I don't know their machines are faulty. Maybe some uh, units can be faulty. You guys can connect, uh, contact the um, uh, brother. Uh, they will definitely help you. So I'm going to just align it. Actually, uh, the purpose of this video, I am testing my Cricut contact sheet. That if, if it's it's good, so we can use it for the fabric, so to save our mats. If someone just uh, scary, so they can use this mat. Okay, let's unload the mat. And again, I'm going to switch my cam position. So, let's lift it up from the bottom part or the lower part. Okay, let's do this. Okay, two, three, four, and five. So here are my polka dots. And yeah, the man is working. So just one more thing I want to test it. Is it cutting through the mat or uh, contact sheet or not? So we can see it. Okay. Let's see from here we can see it. Let's see if it can cut it. So, uh, it's cutting, but that's totally normal because alert from system UI server. Low battery. Come on. Man. Alert from com.apple.battery-monitor. Okay. Okay, so it's cut the mat, uh, contact shape, but it's perfectly normal because it will also cut the, um, uh, what can we say, 
uh, it can cut the um, rather contact sheet also so we can use it again and again there is no problem to use it again and again but yeah we can save the map at least so this is a contact sheet on um, three thick contact sheet you can use it to save your mask if you're cutting your fabric or any messy stuff like felt so this is a really good option i'm gonna keep it as so whenever i need it i just cut the fabric so that's good option actually so we can remove it when we want to remove it so, yeah this is good option actually so guys thank you guys uh stay tuned for more videos and uh, thank you for sharing my video and like my video i appreciate your response thank you guys